So we're going to have you bring your arms overhead. And now we're going to have you rotate each arm down one side. So bring your left arm down towards my hand here. Ever since my first experience here on tours, I just felt such like a friendly environment everywhere I went. I kind of got to work um, closely with the admission staff when doing my application process and it made, made me really feel like I was at home here. Um, also when touring the facilities, kind of getting to see what everything that the school gets to bring um, from an educational standpoint really stood out for me. So I was a swimmer in high school and college and I had countless groin injuries. Um, just from overuse majority. And so I found myself in physical therapy clinics constantly. Um, and I think being surrounded in that environment so much kind of just grew my passion for the industry. So day in the life is we kind of wake up, um, we'll have like an 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. class, depending on the day. Um, we'll kind of get to class, the, it'll be a lecture um, that the professors will present. Usually we'll break for lunch or head to our next class. Um, after that, and then typically we have labs in the afternoon where we're kind of using more hands-on uh, manual skills to kind of um, apply what was learned in class. The academic course load is tough, but it's very manageable. The faculty is all great at supporting us and giving us any help we need, uh, especially all of our classmates. We'll help each other out whenever we need some. So you get very close and become a family here. So we're able to get each other through some of the tougher days. Um, the professors make it very digestible. Um, at coming into PT school, I thought it was gonna be a mountain to climb and that it was gonna be very challenging and I, was, I wasn't gonna be able to kind of complete it in a sense, but the professors do an excellent job of like kind of ramping you up. Um, into Classes here are awesome. Um, I think the layout that we have in this program is super beneficial to us learning. It is a long day. Um, it's probably around eight to five every day, so a normal work day for most people. Um, but the way that they structure having labs right after lectures or the morning after, so that content is still fresh in your mind, being able to apply that content in lab with a professor or a classmate, and then being able to use it um, with our integrated clinical experiences as early as three weeks into your first semester uh, is super beneficial to picking up this stuff quickly. Early integrated clinical education gives the students an opportunity to take um, what we're teaching them in the classroom and integrate it in different clinical experiences, in different settings in physical therapy. Um, and it's really a rewarding experience for the students to go out, apply what we're teaching them in the classroom to patients and participants. Uh, and it's a great thing for our program and our university to interact and engage with the community. One of the things that we love about being here in um, Worcester is how community focused uh, the city and the town is and how community focused our institution is. You know, it's not Boston, it's a smaller, environment, it's a smaller city, and it has that small city feel while also giving us lots of opportunities to, leap, to put our hands on different areas within the Worcester community and in different organizations within the, the Worcester community. There's so much that this area offers, uh, and we love when we send our students out as ambassadors of the program, and we love watching the imprint that they make on the community and really being uh, community ambassadors for our program. Either three or four weeks in your first semester, we're already out going to clinics, um, hospitals, working at the school with patients from the community, and applying the skills that we learn in lab to a real population. So um, for our first semester, we're able to go out into acute care settings, um, see how therapists in hospitals or skilled nursing facilities operate. Um, and I think in the second semester, we move into more outpatient clinics, so you get a good taste of different work environments. Um, I know personally I was very set on working with athletes as a therapist in my future, but the more experience I've had with um, neuro patients and acute care facilities, I've enjoyed, and I think it's opened up um, a lot of options for me that I wasn't really interested in originally. Do we have opportunities for students to go into 
um, day have hospitals with people who have acquired brain injuries. We have opportunities for students to work in schools with children. We have opportunities for students to go um, into rehab facilities, senior centers, traditional outpatient orthopedics, home care. So we really try to uh, expose the students to all that, all the diverse opportunities that the field of physical therapy has to offer. And again, that's easy to do being in this Worcester community. My name is Dr. Jessica Radingsward and I'm an assistant professor here in the School of Physical Therapy and teaching in our cardiovascular and pulmonary management as well as in the acute care. So the PT program here at MCPHS is, is truly fantastic and I think what sets us apart in many ways is our small size. We very intentionally keep our cohort size limited to about 40 students and we have a small core faculty of 10 and I think that that allows us to form really close relationships with our students, with each other, and really create a supportive environment in which students are able to come to any one of us, not just their assigned coach or advisor. Um, if they're having struggles with some of the content, just want to talk, we have great relationships, and I really feel like that's a strength of our program. The thing that sets our program apart, and, and really what I love most about being here, uh, is our student body. They. And, and we facilitate this environment and this culture where the students come together as a team and they're so supportive of one another and they're so curious and passionate about um, their opportunities and their future career that they work so well together and they create this, this learning and classroom environment that's just a lot of fun. Interprofessional education, I think, is another strength of our program that really helps to set us apart. We are so lucky to be in this larger healthcare university with a, a number of different programs, and especially right here on our campus in Worcester. And so interprofessional education is an opportunity that is provided to our students throughout their curriculum, you know, uh, threaded through the content for them to work with and learn from the other disciplines. We work very closely with our pharmacy students and our optometry students. We work closely with our nursing and our physician's assistant students as well. And really trying to help support that the patient care that we provide is collaborative. None of us are operating in a silo when we enter our clinical practice. And I think learning that from the very beginning is such a strength uh, that will help set up improved communication, improved patient care. We know the data shows us that our patients do better. They have better health outcomes when we have strong interprofessional collaboration. And I think that that part of this program is just so unique because our students are learning from week one how to communicate with other professions to learn what their role is, how their role fits in with the roles of the other members of the team, and, and really kind of expanding even what the definition of that team is. We are fortunate to have acupuncture as part of our program, and I think that that's, again, a unique aspect of healthcare that is, is something that our students get an opportunity to explore while they're here. We have sen seven centers for excellence. IPE is one of those centers. And so that is showing the university's uh, full commitment to interprofessional practice and education. We have a lot of different interprofessional learning opportunities. One of our annual events is uh, scheduled in September. It coincides with the National Council on Aging's Falls Awareness and Prevention Week. And so we do an annual presentation where students from the PT program work with students from pharmacy and from optometry to create a cohesive presentation uh, that spans their three disciplines and they present it to older adults from the local community. Uh, this event has been offered in a lot of different formats and most recently has been in the form of a health fair here on our campus, which was very well received. And the students get to share their own perspective on what are the things that contributes to, contribute to falls in older adults and what can they do to help prevent it? Some of it being education and some of it being an actual intervention. The physical therapy students talk about targeted strengthening, targeted balance training, um, and, and how they sort of overlap with the other professions to recognize that there aren't always clear lines between what our professions have to offer. My plans post-graduation are to start working in a clinic and get experience there 
and eventually pursue a specialty and eventually open up my own clinic. So MCP has prepared me very well for that because they offer a variety of different resources, offering different um, insights into internships and um, different sorts of residencies to get different special specializations. Um, and many of our professors and faculty have experience in opening up their own clinics or starting different um, PT organizations or programs at different sites. So we're able to talk with them and they're very open and helpful about getting us to where we want post-graduation. Um, one of the major reasons I chose this university is because of the sport background of Worcester and being so close to Boston. Um, I grew up a huge Boston Red Sox fan, Bruins, Celtics, Patriots, all like crazy passionate. So being able to be in a, about an hour away from the city is awesome. Um, being able to go to games when we have weekends off, being able to go to Woo Sox games with classmates is really cool. And being in an environment where, um, you know, sports are so big in Massachusetts and it, it was one of my dreams to be able to work with one of these teams here. So I definitely envision myself staying local to the area after graduation and seeing if I can maybe pick up some sort of gig in there, the sports team. Um, my advice to uh, prospective students is that we really care and really want to know um, who you are and what you're passionate about in physical therapy and why, what's driving you and, and what's motivating you to learn about this field and to pursue this career. And so the more that you can express and let us know and share um, your background and who you are and why you want to be here and what's, what motivates your learning, the better we get an understanding and an appreciation for how well our program fits you. Because that's ultimately what we, um, what we want is to be the correct fit for you so that, again, you can thrive in the program thrives. So for students who are interested in applying to this program, I, I think the biggest piece of advice I would give is to think about your why. What makes you want to be a PT? What type of clinician do you want to be? And then look for the program that best supports those qualities that you seek to develop. And the environment that's going to be the most conducive to your learning um, and, and taking you where you think you want to be.